All right, guys, we are back in Marbella again. And it's been too much beach lately. I feel like playing paddle again. And I'm all dressed up and fine. Let's go see my coach, Karman. Follow me. There he is. Looks like he's having a lesson. Hey, I know this guy. That's an old football player. He actually played two matches for the Swedish national team. And I heard he's good in paddle as well. Let's check him out. The most important thing is that you get this vision that you want to keep the racket up here yeah. rather than going down and in the forehand that you turn your shoulders and you keep your elbow coming in rather than going out. Yeah. Okay, so if you keep that, the volley will be, will be much, much, much better. Well done, man. Thank you. Looks a lot better, his technique, huh? Yeah, he's getting big progress, but he's working hard. He's a very dedicated student. Yeah. What, what are you dedicated about? What's uh, your goal? My goal is to be uh, the best in my age in Sweden. So I'm 45 next year. So I'm looking for the Swedish championship. 45 plus? Yeah. Yeah. To be number one. Yeah. yeah. What chances do you give him to be top, top in Sweden? Well, the chances are there. It depends a lot on, on how much uh, he trains, on how much uh, he, he, he follows uh, the, the, the plans we have uh, in terms of uh, training here on court, but also on his fitness, on his health. Uh, but I think he has the possibilities, he has the potential. What does he need to work on? Uh, well, mainly right now, we are working on, on the tactical side. I, I, the idea is to learn to understand a lot better the game. He's, he's the first coach, I have many coaches in football. Herman is the first coach to tell me, less is more. Yeah. Don't run so much. No, no, no. no. Do less, <laughs> yeah. stay on your feet. It's when a strange sport, huh? Yeah, but it, it, uh, I really improved um, since I started my training here, so. Super. So you played football at the highest level. Why do you love this so much? Uh, I think I need, I need something to get going and I think paddle is, is really competitive. So you can improve every day and it's a lot of good players, especially here in Malaga and Costa del Sol, uh, Spanish players that I can compete with. So uh, yeah, it's, it's really, it's a, it's a challenge for me. It's a new challenge. Do you bring the same mindset from football to paddle? Uh, I, I try to, yeah, I try to, but I think now I'm in more, it's more technique, like, like Herman says, less is more, and I need to focus on my strategy as well. So, Herman, are you ready for me now? Of course, always ready for you, always, always. Ready to go? Are I'm you ready, ready for ready. me? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Let's go then. So, Herman, good to see you again. Good to see you again too. And I need some help now. Okay, because what's going you, on? You improved my volley a lot but I still need to work on the defense okay. to make the right choices and everything. Super. Well, let's play a little bit. Let's check what you're doing and we'll take it from there. Super, let's go. Good. Bam. So, just based on what I just saw, the problem is not your technique. It, the speed is good, actually, but you are playing too much on my forehand, okay? So, if you're defending behind the line, it's more interesting to play more towards the middle of the court. Why? First, because it's safer. <clears throat> actually, the first ball you play, it went out, because if you choose to play on my right, your court is much smaller. If you choose to go for the middle, look at the distance. You have like 11 meters from the net until the end of the court. So, safer. <clears throat> Second, since the ball goes to the middle, it's always some doubts if it's my ball, if it's my partner's ball. So, it's not the same. If the ball is here, it's clearly my ball, so there's no doubt. 
so that will be easier for me. Yeah, in this sport they talk a lot about not giving the opponents angles, and you have the perfect angle if you well, time Well, this to. is exactly what I was going to. The most important thing is this. When I'm in the net and I want to hurt you, I will always try to play more cross. So look at the possibilities that I have. If you play on my right, I can play there. I can play there. I can play there. There. And even a last option that is not the favorite one, but if I have to, I can actually play that way. So, as you play on the right, you make the court very big. Yep. And it's more natural to play cross from the forehand side, right? Yes. If you play on my backhand, first of all, this is more unnatural than, than this, right? So, and also, look how small the court has become. So if I want to play there, see, I only have three meters. So it's very easy that I make mistakes. Plus, it's uncomfortable. So most likely, I will be playing shots like that, sorry, shots like that, that are a lot easier for you to get. Yeah. Mm? So you play the ball on a more uncomfortable place, so you don't give me that angle. And at the same time, you make the court a lot smaller. So I'm going to play easier for you, and I have more probabilities of failing, yep. rather than playing here. Right. Okay? But I so. I. Too short, huh? Yes. I tried to play the lob. The, what happened there is a very common mistake. The tendency of people is to think that the lob is a very defensive shot and that they have to play the lob when they're really in trouble. Yep. Mm -hmm. What's the problem with that? Well, if I play the lob when the ball is so difficult, normally it will be a bad lob, yep. which is probably the worst scenario that could happen in a paddle. Why? Because that means the opponent is going to smash, as I did, and win the point. So we should choose carefully when we choose to play the lob. Okay. Because if the ball is not in a position that there are some guarantees that I can play a good lob, maybe it's better not to play a lob. Yeah. So in this case, for example, probably I will choose to play again straight to me and wait until you have an easier ball to play the lob and maybe pass me or just send me a little bit back so you can do more stuff. Oh, that's the one. So now I understand when to play the lob, but where should I aim? Okay, well, <clears throat> there are a few Options depending on the context. Yep. Remember, every time we make decisions, the context is very important. Yep. The situation. All Where right? are my opponents? Exactly. So let's go for defense okay. a little bit. Okay. So let's say you have the ball more or less comfortable on your forehand. Hmm? If you choose to play to the corner, the truth is that the court is longer. But also, the truth is that there is more risk. Yeah. If you choose to play more towards the middle, the only risk you have is the back wall, but there's nothing on the side. So you have five meters and five meters. More mm -hmm. space. Yes, because always you have to remember this. When we hit the ball, we always think the ball is going exactly where we're aiming. But the reality is different. One more question. Okay. Yes, of course. So you play your opponents on this side, and you want to avoid this player on the backhand side to smash the ball. Yes. So sometimes it's a little bit dangerous to play the lob in the middle. Well, you can go middle right. So let's say it, it's, it's a good question indeed. You, so you have to consider the skills of your opponent. Yeah. All right. So in that case, one thing that I can do is I can play middle, but middle left. So like there. So this player will have to go a long way to hit it. But okay. the ball is still in the middle, really. Yeah. Now, be careful when you play from here, because that player is a little bit further back. So from here, once again, 
Well, we want to go somewhere there. From mm. the backhand side? Yes, so if that player wants the ball, he has to go for it. But I'm not going to put the ball to him. Because from there to kick it out is very easy. Yeah. So what you say is middle left is always a good solution Absolutely. if you play two right-handers. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, one more question. How long should I hit the lob? Well, that's actually a very, very good one. Yeah. Uh, in beginners, more people play the lob just to pass the opponent. Yeah. Okay? Which is okay. So that's why you have to be careful when you choose to play the lob, as we said before. But as you get better, even in beginners, but as you get better, you don't really want to pass the opponent. The idea is to make the opponent play a bandeja from a difficult place. Yeah. From here, as we said. Yeah. Right? So, where am I aiming? Well, just behind the line. Behind the line. But I don't really want to pass them. Okay. Because then the ball might come back and give them the chance to counterattack. Yeah. Once again, War Paddle Tour does. Why? Because everybody can smash. That's what I was everywhere. thinking, because a lot of people watch the World Paddle Tour and they say, Bela, lob the ball around here. No, 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 no. Bela bounce it here. Right there? Right there. Oh, my Lord. This is Bela and Paquito's territory. Why? Because if he bounces here, Lebron, Galan, Teo, Paquito, out. So they're aiming they are for aiming this there. space? They're aiming there. And they go further because they play the love when they're more or less close to the opponent, so the opponent doesn't have so much time to move. But as I say, that's the World Paddle Tour. That's Vela. Yes, okay. that's Vela, that's Paquito. They're both probably the best two players that play the love. So, Germán, for my level, if I put the ball around here, you're that's, satisfied. That's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. This is the World Paddle Tour. Yes, we're playing together with Gala. If they win this game, they will be the new world champions. Jesper! 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 Yeah? What happened? What's my name? Are you my partner on World Paddle Tour? No, I think you passed out. But we recently played. Did we win? No, we lost. We lost? Yeah, but don't worry. Oh, I help you up. Damn! Come on. I felt so good. Yeah. Damn, did I get that tired? Yeah, you did. That was a good dream though. I was playing with Galan. <laughs> but be honest, you really need to work on your fitness level. Okay. Can we meet here tomorrow? Of course. Yeah, then we do that. Come on, go, 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 go. Faster, faster, faster. Come on, yes, sir. Come on. Go, 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 go. Move, move, move. Come on. Faster, faster, faster. Faster, faster. Faster, you can do this. Yeah, come, come on, on yes, sir. 100 more to go, come on! Go, 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 move, go, go, move, go, go, move. go, go! Come on, Jesper, you can do Keep it! Keep on going! Go, 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 move, go, go, move, go, go, go! That was a good start. How are you feeling now? More fit? A little bit tired, but still dreaming of the World Paddle Tour. That was better with Galan. Thanks a lot for watching our show. I hope you love Paddle Loco. And also remember to subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications. And of course, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. See you there.